How's it going everyone? Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and as you can see in front of you, I've got a tank filling in Factory Talk View Studio Machine Edition. So I'm going to be explaining the logic behind the calculation to display the filling, but ultimately what I want to show you today is how to create this animation using an image to make your designs very nice and stand out in production environments. Without any further delay, let's get started. So just so that we get on the same page, what I've done here is I went into my symbol factory and I've pulled out two different elements. So the first one being a tank cutaway. So I choose this rectangle cutaway that I've used in many of my designs. And then I've pulled out a tank, which is going to be this tank number five. Feel free to use any other design as your system may require. That being said, all I've done here is I've overlaid the two. And then on the RS logic side, what I've done is I created a timer again in a normal scenario. This would be some kind of a sensor for the level of the tank. And of course, feel free to tie it in as such. But for demonstration purposes, all I have is a timer that's going to count from zero to 10,000 milliseconds, which translates roughly in or exactly to 10 seconds. That being said, what I also have is a scaling function. So I'm scaling that timer into a value from zero to 100. And as you can see here on the output side, I use a tag called HMI underscore tank fill in order to capture that zero to 100 value into a floating point register. So on the HMI side, let's switch back to factory talk a view machine edition of version 11 and discuss what needs to be done. So first of all, I have my group of elements sitting on top of the tank and I here I have a polyline. As you can see on the bottom, I have got a polyline five and then I've got a polygon 35. Now what's important here is the width and the height of this element because we want to scale an image that's going to be exactly of the same uh, proportions pixel wise. And so I've already done that in paint, but what I can typically tell you is if you're going to resize this afterwards, the image may not look as you would expect. So I highly recommend getting an image of width 60 and height 324 as shown in this example. Of course, if you've resized the tank to different dimensions, make sure to resize accordingly. That being said, I'm going to change a couple of things on this polygon. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into properties and here I want my back to be, let's say this off white. So I'm going to press OK and that's going to be the window into our tank. What I also need is an image object. So I'm going to click on object drawing and then select image. I'm just going to freehand draw whatever because I'll need to specify the image regardless. And from within the image browser, if you've already added the image, you can find it in this uh, menu but we will add an image from file. I've pasted it on the desktop and it should be a JPEG. So I'm going to switch to, to JPEG and that's the tank fill. It is already, it has already been added once, but just to show you the process, that's what the image looks like. It's actually Coca-Cola, uh, just the beverage shown on the tank, just to make it look nice. You'll notice that it is not ideal and that's because the transparency has been set to yes, so I'm going to right click this image, go into properties and then image back style solid, press on apply, press on okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the polygon 35 and then I'm going to select the image and use my align tools, a toolbar that I've explained in a different video, but here I'm going to align left and then align top. And what that's going to do is position the image on top of the polygon, which is exactly what we want. And so we do need to bring the polygon to the front. And the reason why we do that is because if I select the image, so I'm going to select the image, as you can see here at the bottom, I right click and navigate to animation. The animation that we want to use, which is fill is not going to be available. And that's because you cannot use certain animations on certain elements in factory talk view studio. That being said, if we use the polygon 35, I can right click, go into animation, and here as you can see, fill is available. So if you want to conceptualize, what we're really doing is we're hiding the image with the polygon, we're not displaying the image based on a percentage. So I'm going to select this fill. Here I'm going to browse for the tag as I had mentioned on the PLC side, so click on tags. 
Just to demonstrate the process from the very beginning, I'm going to right click my program, refresh all folders. And here I should be able to see the PLC that I had shown you just a few moments ago. And just to break this down, so we go into online, we open this up, and then I need to find the program under which the tag has been created. And for me, that's going to be batch control. Of course, it may be different in your case. And here, the same tag, HMI underscore tank fill. I'm going to press OK. And you'll notice that the expression has been put in. Now, there's going to be a few parameters that we do need to discuss. So the fill percentage wise, the fill direction, and then use constant. So the constant is going to dictate the range of our tag. In my case, as I had mentioned to you earlier, it's going to be from zero to 100. And the PLC is going to dictate that number based on the scaling function. The filling percentage, in my case, you'll notice that the minimum and the maximum are swapped because as I mentioned, we're not showing an image, we're hiding the image. So the polygon needs to be displayed in the inverse proportional way to the image. And that's why also the fill direction is going to be down. So what I can do here is I'm going to hit apply, I'm going to close. And what I will recommend you if you're not sure which direction to fill, play with some of these parameters, try right, try left, up, down, you can always swap this 100 with the zero and see if it's going in the right direction that you desire. I'm going to close out of this. And what I can do now is press this test display button. And you'll notice that my display is filling, but it's kind of slow. It seems to be updating very unfrequently and it doesn't look that nice. So I'm going to pause this or I'm going to stop the animation, right click the display settings. And this is one way that you can update your tags much quicker. Of course, it's going to take up more bandwidth, but since we're only doing this for one single tag animation, it's not a problem. So I'm going to make this 0.05 seconds. Again, tanks don't typically fill at this specific rate. They're going to be much slower from my experience. So we can press apply. It's going to tell us to reopen the display. Press OK. Close out of this display. Save the changes that we've made. Reopen the display. And we can press play once again. And so you'll notice that the animation is running much, much smoother. There's, of course, some improvements that you can make. There's a little bit. Uh, it looks like there's a few pixels on the right side. So you can make your polygon a little bit larger. You can also make this opening a little bit nicer. But I've always found that operators and those who look at the HMI displays really appreciate the extra touch to make this look nice instead of the generic blue bar graph that you get from the factory talk uh, symbol factory. In any case, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you next time.